Kenya. A round of applause for him. Makofi mpaka afike kwenye jukwa. Makofi, 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 makofi. Karibu sana na ibu. Thank you. Please be seated. Um, the Cabinet Secretary for Health and the host of this celebration, Susan Nakumisha, the CS for Labor and Social Protection, Florence Bore, who is also a daughter of this great county. The governor of Kiricho County, Wanamtai, the governor of Gomet, the chairperson of the Health Committee in the National Assembly, Dr. Pukose, Minister of Health and County Officials, all other partners, our gallant health workers, the great people of Kericho County, distinguished guests, good afternoon. God is good, and all the time. Muli salimie kwa hayo bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Pokeni salamu nyingi sana kutoka kwa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya, Daktari William Samoe Ruto. Our president is away in the Republic of China on official duty and he sends his warm greetings and love for the people of Kiricho and the neighboring counties. Before I say one or two things, let me introduce the members of the National Assembly who came with me. We have Dr. Pukose, is the chairman of the Health Committee in Parliament and a member of Parliament for NDBS in Transoia County. We have uh, Patrick Munene, the vice chairman of the Health Committee in the National Assembly and member of parliament for Chuka Igabangombe in Tharakanithi County. We have uh, that tall man, uh, Duncan Maida Madenge, a member of the committee and member of parliament for Nyeri Town constituency. We have the Honorable Ken Aramat, the member of parliament for Narok East and the, the chairperson of the Energy Committee in the National Assembly. We have uh, Honorable Tonkei, the women representative for Narrow County. And we have Honorable Chororet, where is he, the, the member of parliament for Kipkelion East of this county. Ladies and gentlemen, we meet here today under the theme Universal Health Coverage Afia Nyumbani a few days after our president flagged off over 100,000 community health promoters to work in our 47 counties. It is also a great occasion to witness the potential of the Kericho County Smart Primary Health Care Network, which is envisioned to transform healthcare service delivery through digitization of data. I congratulate Governor Mutai and his entire team in establishing this digital system. It already defined how we work for our people. Indeed, integrating digital technology is one of the best strategies of ensuring efficiency and effectiveness in service delivery. Distinguished guests, on this note, I wish to commend the health community, the community health promoters who have been engaged for this assignment. You are our heroes this Mashuja day. We can't pay you enough for the splendid work you are already undertaking. Once again, we count on your utmost dedication to deliver to Kenyans the promise of universal health coverage. Distinguished guests, October is significant to Kenya and the world. During this month, we work to raise awareness on cancer, and in particular, breast cancer. 
Cancer is one of the leading non-communicable diseases which collectively kill about 27% of our people annually. In some cases, non-communicable diseases and conditions account up to 50% of hospital admissions. This overstretches our healthcare system, therefore negatively impacting on quality service. Quality health care is very expensive for most families. Serious health conditions are sinking families into abject poverty as many Kenyans cannot access health care insurance. In fact, only about 26% of the more than 53 million people have some form of health insurance cover. When a serious medical condition strikes, poverty is inevitable for most families. Poverty strips off one's dignity. This, in turn, slows our development. Your Excellency, governors, distinguished guests, this is one of the reasons that the Ruto administration is investing in promoting preventive health care to the grassroots in collaboration with our counties. This is alongside the ongoing reforms in the National Health Insurance Fund to enhance access to quality health care as enshrined in our constitution. We are closely working with counties in establishing sustainable structures of promoting preventive health as envisioned under the universal health coverage. In this regard, we have allocated 141.2 billion Kenya shillings to the Ministry of Health, with at least 18.4 billion shillings going into the universal health coverage. We are determined to meeting and surpassing the minimum target of 15% of the national budget to the health sector, as per the Abuja Declaration of 2001. Distinguished guests, the primary health care network tool, which Kericho County is in integrating into its health care system, will progressively contribute to data collection on various diseases and other medical conditions. This is crucial in strategic and targeted planning, more so in resource allocation as we seek to reap from preventive health interventions. Today, we will also issue a certificate to Kirisho County Referral Hospital as a level five health facility. <laughs> level five facility alongside Cap Catet Hospital must be defined medical services in this region. Besides creating a favorable environment for research and incubation of medical innovations, students will have an opportunity of shaping and sharpening their skills. Our students of the Kenya Medical Training College, Sigowet Campus, and other medical institutions put into practice their skills at the level five hospital. There is potential in groundbreaking research in digital medical practices, including artificial intelligence. There is no regret in innovation. There is no waste in exploring and testing and incubating new ideas. While such institutions may not have top-notch facilities, we must leverage other research institutions, like the Kenya Medical Research Institute, in nurturing ideas to medical breakthroughs. Furthermore, integration of the electronic community health information system and other digital platforms require more research to improve and sustain such structures. Distinguished guests, as we raise awareness on testing and treatment of breast cancer this month, screening has been seen to contribute to reducing mortality by between 25 and 39% over the last decade. While we are registering such progress, we note that one in every nine men in Sub-Saharan Africa 
Kenya included, is a potential candidate for prostate cancer, for prostate cancer. In this regard, I challenge the stakeholders herein to also elevate awareness of prostate cancer for our men to be tested early. Najua na ume saigine muna wopa kufanya hii test. Lakini ni muhimu. This will inform timely interventions to save lives. Some countries have adopted September as the Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. We are ready to engage and propel such life-saving conversations. On this note, I wish you a successful Puri Mashuja Day celebration as Anteni Sana. Mimi ni shukuru sana kufika hapa Kericho tena nilikuwa hapa wakati ya conference ya majani chai ambaye tulianza mabadiliko katika sekta ya chai na bonus ambaye imelipwa siku chache zilizopita inaonesha ya kwamba tumeanza kuvuna matuna ya mabadiliko kwa sekta ya majani chai tunaendelea na mabadiliko katika sekta ya maziwa na lengo letu kama serikali ni ya kwamba lita moja ya maziwa isipungue shilingi ya msini ikuwe ni ya msini kuendelea stini again katika sekta ya kahawa tumekuwa tukingangana na wale wenye kukatalia jasho la mkulima na tunashukuru ya kwamba serikali yetu tukufu tukiongozwa na rais wetu William Ruto imetoa shilingi bilioni nne ya kulipa wakulima wa kahawa advance ya shilingi 80 wakekojea zingine tukiendelea kutafuta soko ile tutausa direct bila kupitia hao watu ya katikati ningetaka niseme tunapongeza waziri wetu wa afya na timu yake kwa kazi nzuri and I want to say for the evidence of doubt, sit down and see us. We have many challenges as a government because of the situation we find ourselves in, the kind of economy that we inherited, the global challenges that are affecting each and every country. But in our five pillars in the Kenya Kwanzaa plan, it is obvious and it's clear that within the next six months, the fruits of the great work done by the CS and other stakeholders will be felt by the people of Kenya. Matuda ya kwanza kwa Kenya ni mabadiliko katika sekta ya afya. Serikali yetu ikishikana na counties imetoa program ya 100,000 community health promoters ambayo wamepatiwa vifaa na leo hapa bureti nimeshuhudia kwa boma ya mzee vile hizo vifaa zinafanya kazi na kwa hivyo tutakuwa na afya nyumbani wewe utapata watu wanakuja kukusaidia pale kwa boma lako na familia yako and this is a great intervention by government in our health sector and i can tell you without doubt the fruits of this intervention will be felt in every homestead across the 47 counties by the people of kenya because a healthy nation is a dignified nation I want to take this opportunity to appeal to our county governments led by our governors also to put their best foot forward and improve services in hospitals managed by the county government. I want to appeal to our governors starting with here in Kericho and Bomet to make sure that we have sufficient and adequate drugs in each and every facility of the county. This issue of patients being sent by health providers to a certain corner in the town, in the town center, 
to go and look for drugs should be a thing of the past. And with this digital system of monitoring drugs in the dispensaries, in the health centers, in the level of hospital, in the level five, the governors and the officials working under them should make sure, working with KEMSA, that at any one time, we have sufficient drugs available in all our health facilities to assist the people of Kenya. Munajua tutakuwa na shere kubwa ya mashujade hapa kericho, katika Green Stadium, kiwanja itafunguliwa saatisa ya usiku. Nani fast, come fast, sound. Iyo kiwaja ni kidogo. So, amuka mapema, ufike pale. Tutakuwa na maofsa wetu wa kutusaidia, kwa kisha ya kwaba mmepewa pahali ya kuketi, na itakuwa tamasha ambaye hamu jaona katika area hii. Tutakuwa na military parade, na other activities that are very interesting that have never been witnessed in this part of the country. I want to appeal and invite all the residents of Kericho, other neighboring counties to come and join President William Ruto in celebrating Mashujadi in this county. Na tutanza mapema kwa sababu ya mvua. Vile tumeona hii mvua inaweza kututatiza. Kwa hivyo mfike mapema mpate viti pale mbele diyo mweze kuangalia na kuona kwa macho yale ambaye itakuwa inatendea inatendeka pale mimi nikimalizia ni kusema asanti kwa magavana wetu tuendelee kufanya kazi na hapa Kericho county commissioner na timu yako na shukuru nyinyi vita dhidi ya pombe inaendelea vizuri 70% lakini 30% bado nataka mutie bid machifs wetu mnajua tulikubaliana na hatuna vita sisi ni marafiki ya kwamba katika location yako wewe kama chief na pombe hamwezi ishi nyinyi wote pale lazima mmoja aondoke na kwa sababu pombe haina akili ya kuamua kama itaondoka ama itakaa jukumu la uamuzi ni juu ya chief na unajua tunataka kutoa machifu kadhaa kabla Christmas waende nyumbani ndio wakue funzo kwa wengine wale wazembe Na nyinyi watu ya kiricho mnajua ni marafiki zangu na rais mlitupigia kura vizuri. Itakuwa ni uchungu mingi sana kwangu. Nikiona machifu wakienda nyumbani. Kwa hivyo na muomba kwa heshima machifu wetu mjikaze. Mtoe miguu kwa gunia. Mungangane na hii watu na madawa ya kulevia. Ndiyo nyinyi mweza kuendelea na kazi. Ndiyo mshugulikia watoto wenu. It will be very painful for me to sanction a few chiefs in Kericho to go home because you are our people and we love you and you supported us and prayed for us. Please spare me that agony to make that decision by doing the right thing. Wale wote wanauza his bombe machifu muna wajua. Wale wanauza bangi muna wajua. You know them. Just make a decision and save you a job because you need it. Hii kazi kupata ni kibarua ngumu. Hile kazi kitoko huko nayo uchunge. Na mimi kwa sababu nimepewa kazi na rais ipabane na hiyo pombe mimi sitaki kumwaga unga yangu so nikiona wewe unataka kunimwagia yangu nitamwaga yako kwanza sijio tunasema sema kuva dereva kuva, kuva nini makanga Laza nyinyi machifu na DCC msiniangushe mimi hii kazi nilipewa na rais niko na haja naye nataka niichunge sana mnajua pahali nilikuwa nilikuwa pahali mbaya sana Sasa mimi sitaki kurudi hapo. Kwa hivyo mimi nikiona mtaharibu yangu, mimi kwanza nitamwaga yenu dio yangu imwagike baadaye. Kwa hivyo nyinyi ni watu wazuri na tumeshukuru sana and those who are continuing this program tunatakia nyinyi mema na tuko na matumaini kwa mapenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Tutakuwa na nyinyi siku ya Ijumaa pamoja na rais wetu ambaye ako huko China akingangana na watu ya huko weupe kuona atatuletea nini na tumemwambia rais ahakikishe akitoka tu na ndege akirudi akuja na kitu simungataka akuja na kitu na mumuombe asirudi mkono mtupu 
akienda tu akirudi anakuja na kitu hivyo ndio tunakubaliana na yeye na kwa hivyo mimi nataka niseme asante may god bless you may god bless you abundantly asanteni sana thank you very much Tumpongeze tena makamu wetu wa rais kwa makofi tafadhali. Your Excellency, we, we have one small bit to do so I kindly request the PS to take us through this last bit kindly. And I will kindly please get seated. I will kindly request you Your Excellency to come back on stage. You help us launch the smart PCN. I will do a count of three. So we help the, um, His Excellency to count three, two, one, press. Hmm? <laughs> Behind you, on this side. <laughs> a round of applause. Another round of applause. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. You're here to Your Excellency. To begin, Your His Excellency Makofi Tafadhali. <laughs> Your Excellency, kindly before you go, we want to kindly request you help us also award some of our kindly peers. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, uh,